Dear friends of fine watchmaking, this is a special year for our Lange und Söhne. We are celebrating the 175th anniversary of the Saxonian art of fine watchmaking. And to mark the occasion, we will issue an homage collection dedicated to the man who put Glashütte on the map of international watchmaking artistry, Ferdinand Adolf Lange. But first, let me explain why his philosophy still guides us today and how we translate his legacy and his ideas into the future. In 1845, Ferdinand Adolf Lange, a young watchmaker from Dresden, set out to build the world's best watches in the remote rural town of Glashütte. An independent and comprehensively educated personality, he introduced the latest scientific findings into his work and developed his own style. His plan for the former mining town where he started his business went far beyond his own company. It was the blueprint for an entire regional watch industry. On December the 7th, 1845, he hired 15 apprentices. This day marks the birth of the Saxonian art of fine watchmaking. The Saxon milepost in front of the Stammhaus, the historic Lange family home and manufactory, reminds us that back in the times of Ferdinand Adolf Lange, even the next city was a day's journey away. Far ahead of his time, he set the course for future through pioneering inventions, scientific progress, and the quest for new horizons. He introduced the metric system into European watchmaking and improved the production methods through new tools. More than 30 watch patents have been filed under his name and the names of his sons. The most well-known one is the characteristic three-quarter plate made of German silver, which since 1990 is once again a hallmark of every Lange watch. Thanks to a sophisticated quality management system, Lange's pocket watches were so precise that they were used by observatories, so prestigious that they became the first choice of emperors and kings. Many elements of the so-called 1A top category can still be discovered in our contemporary wristwatches, like the gold chatons and the hand-engraved balance cock. Then, as now, an Alange und Söhne watch is a fusion of art, ingenuity, craftsmanship and passion. Every time piece is an expression of our drive to create distinctive designs and innovative mechanical solutions. This is why every model is equipped with an in-house movement that reflects our technical creativity and features the highest degree of finishing. Today, Alange und Söhne is once again a brand that shapes the future of fine watchmaking. This is how we carry on our 175-year-old tradition and send out our message to the world. So far we have presented three new models this year. We expanded our new Sporty Elegant Odysseus line with a white gold model. We also presented a limited edition of the Zeitwerk Minute Repeater clad in blue. And we have launched a completely revised Lange One time zone dedicated to open-minded people connected to the world. But that's not all. We have saved something special for you. To commemorate the 175th anniversary we will premiere our homage collection of three limited editions of the 1815 watch family. The connecting element is honey gold. 
the lange exclusive superior gold alloy stands for lasting values. Whereas special engravings reveal our passion for craftsmanship. Simple and perfect, the 1815 thin honey gold with a handcrafted enamel dial reflects our dedication to tradition. The 1815 Rattrapant honey gold focuses on the two classic complications of timekeeping. By featuring for the first time a black dial in a honey gold case, it bridges the gap between the historic pocket watch manufactory and the new beginning in 1990. The Turbograph Perpetual Honey Gold is the ultimate proof of our claim to never stand still. With a relief black rhodium plated honey gold dial, we have taken a completely new path in watch design. Our new timepieces and especially this collection express our commitment to uphold our tradition while exploring new avenues to advance the art of watchmaking.